me, Mr. Kessler. What's going on, guys? It's me, Mr. Kessler. Welcome to the video where we're going to talk about three different hacks for growing in TikTok today. Um, basically, one is going to require for you to have a thousand followers, but the others are going to be pretty easy to accomplish. And we're going to jump right onto the phone and get right into the video. And we're going to we're going to show you firsthand on how I try to grow and keep my relevancy going in the TikTok app. Alrighty guys, we're back here on the phone part of the, the video where we're going to talk about the three different types of tips we're going to go over. And the first one's going to be know your niche or have a niche. Obviously, you don't have to have one, but it's really going to help to have one, especially if people are going to come watch your content or come back for seconds um especially since this is like bite-sized content people can just blow through it if they really want to i'm even guilty of uh, you know of blowing through people's content when i like the person or the content being shown to me so have a niche um obviously you can you know branch out like i have some league of legends videos here that are old clips that i posted <laughs> my friend <laughs> and then I kind of you know I mess around with the app you know I try different things like that I got you know almost 2,000 views here we'll show you my most viewed video so you guys know I'm legit to some extent so 170 likes uh, 12k comments and yeah, I still get a lot of views on this video still. Not as much as I used to, but yeah, it, I was pretty happy about that one. But I've stayed with this Fortnite niche and I've posted guide videos on some of the challenges. Obviously, I've, I've messed around like I posted this Dragon Ball Z one here. And it still got like some decent views. I'll show you another one I did with Call of Duty. Now, there might be this thing called Channel Authority. I've done some research on it. I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not claiming I'm an expert. I'm just giving you guys the tips that I've basically learned, you know, myself going through the app. So, Call of Duty right here, about 20K likes, um, only about 100 comments, but it's got about 140K views. It was pretty funny. Guy ended up killing himself. Um, so... Have a niche. Stick with a niche. People are going to know you for a specific niche. Um, anyways, I'm done beating that dead horse. Uh, tip number two is do your research. And what I mean by that is, all right, I'm a Fortnite content creator on TikTok. And it doesn't matter if I'm making Fortnite content or not. It's going to be probably a good thing for you to do research, especially when it comes to the challenges that you have so let's go look at the challenges so uh we got this one called ever wonder so here are some simple truths that blow your mind uh, a little description at the top you can add it to your favorites i might use this one later i actually add a lot of favorites especially music or sounds i'll even save videos for reference later and then i'll even look at hashtags so this guy didn't even use, didn't even use. Okay, it's goofy, it's kind of funny. So, literally took this guy, what, five seconds to make this video? Let's see how many views he got. 48K? I mean, anyone can do this. And then let's see if this guy has a YouTube or Instagram. Oh, he has an Instagram, what do you know? Per, uh, perfect cross promotion opportunity. I'm just gonna go ahead and follow this guy, just because I like to follow people and I, I do this on every platform now like I don't go try to go too crazy but I'll follow people that I'm like I can learn something from because the way these platforms work whether it be Instagram TikTok, YouTube which on YouTube I think I'm subscribed to over 10,000 people I have the craziest amount of different recommended videos and whatnot that when I do see something that pops up that interests me especially in content uh, creation or growing I'm able to see that person 
and then try to implement what they do into my own content creation. Oops, excuse me, content creation. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, this guy has 1,500 followers, which I think once you get 1,000, you can live stream on here. And then if you get 1,500 or 1,250, I heard you get like analytics or you get like special features, which I'm not there yet. Maybe one day. But anyways, we'll get off of Instagram here and we'll go back to TikTok. So do your research. So another example for do your research. So let's say, all right, Fortnite. I want to see what Fortnite hashtags there are. All right, Fortnite. We're just going to search it. So if we look up for, hashtag Fortnite, we know that there's three, 13.6 billion views. This is probably one of the more viewed videos. And this guy just tags Fortnite in his video. Is he even about Fortnite? Wow, he actually made that. Oh, he did the Fortnite dance. I mean, I wonder how many times it took him to do that, but oh my goodness. So look at this. Their first few videos don't even look like Fortnite content. And then this guy actually made it. Okay. I don't know how they do this animation, but it's pretty sick. So anyways, look at this. I can now look at the top person. So I don't know if TikTok's going to fix this or not. But for some reason, if you put in the newest... Uh, like so if a challenge comes out and I think before the challenge ends or the day it comes out people are starting to put that hashtag in their video even though the video is not about that so this is let's read the guy's description here this is a clean credit to envy on YouTube so this guy he's posting content that's not even his which you know whatever I guess that's how TikTok is but uh, people can get plenty of views from it but he posted hashtag Charlie's Angels Unite, which I think that was a contest or like an event that happened on TikTok. Check the Drip. That was another one. Dramatic Dance. So this guy literally put three different hashtags that aren't even re like really relevant to his video. And he used that to his advantage. Now, I just stick to three hashtags. I mean... I, I should probably play around with this a little more. I haven't, I've done it once and I didn't really get too much success where I only did like one challenge hashtag that wasn't even related to my video. But I've been seeing this more and more, especially like different Fortnite creators. Like here, let's look up Sushi Bay again. He was in the last video, but we'll look him up. Sushi Bay. So he's the biggest Fortnite content creator on here let's see what he just posted oh that's pretty sick he's got kind of a sick setup dude i'm calling it right now this guy is gonna switch to vr he's been posting more vr content and i've almost been thinking about switching to vr dude vr is like not very many people are doing it right now and the people that are doing it are succeeding and it's not like kids content like for me unfortunately i kind of have to focus more on kids content but uh oh did he do this one see how did he do this oh my gosh what the heck okay okay but anyways he used green screen that might even be him i don't know i, I think he would he usually posts content of himself um but uh it's so dry. Like, you gotta get okay let's look i know you had a video recently okay oh is that an app that must be an app oh my gosh that's him that's kind of creepy okay here one second so he did a gaming on tiktok which this one's pretty legitimate holiday countdown this guy's pretty legit but i've seen him a couple times he'll use hashtags that don't really pertain um give me a second here 
juice world. <laughs> well, he's been using that gaming. So make it tread. I guess that's fine. But like that, make it tread was a a trend, and he, you know, this video is pretty. You probably seen this meme. So I mean, I'm really beating this one to death. So not so ordinary. That was another trend or a challenge. So stay fresh. I think that was another trend. So like he doesn't. I've seen other creators and him um, mess around with it, and they'll put certain. He doesn't do it too much, and I don't honestly. Um, cause it probably can piss people off or I, I don't know. I mean, it might be an algorithmic hack, which I will have to get back to you guys. The more I figure that out. Um, but yep, just, uh, do the research. You can also look up the amount. Like, I think we talked about this a second ago. So uh, yeah, I typed in Fortnite and I'm getting messages from my ma. So we'll go to hat. Uh, we'll go to hashtags. Boom! It tells you all these different hashtags that you can use, and and kind of my mind is I think the more ones with more uh, views, I think the better. I don't know. You could try and using like uh, if you can do the research and find like up and coming hashtags. Like let's see this one. You don't think I'm the best Fortnite player on TikTok? Just watch this. Okay, I'm gonna follow this guy even though I don't really like like this guy. I've seen this video before. So like he Get broke the fuck his. Off me. If you don't think I'm the best Fortnite player. Okay, I, I don't know whatever. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. I can just watch. He uh. This is under gaming Fortnite memes, so this might be an up and coming, uh, hashtag now. It's got less views than a lot of these other ones. Fortnite Dance and Fortnite. Those seem to be the biggest ones right there. So that's a really easy way to do research. By going to this challenge page or event page for TikTok. And going under the hashtags when you type it up here. Which, here, do it again. You get all sorts of different options. It's really nice. So I really beat that point to death and hopefully this video isn't too long where you guys are going to turn tune out but anyways we're going to jump into the third tip which is going to be it's going to require a little more work on your part but it's really not that hard i mean i've already shown you some examples of people getting views with thousand plus followers like i got my first four thousand followers relatively easily when i started posting um so but if you have any questions about that, be sure to leave it down in the comments for the video. But is to go live after you post. That is the third tip I'm going to talk about. So, for example, I did this test where I posted. We'll, po we'll show this one. I like hey, this Daddy. one. Goodbye, my love. Uh, senpai? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Serana, my love. I'm just too evil for you. I have to <laughs> I'm so <back>. stupid. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm admiring my own work. Um, I went live after I posted that, and th I just like had five thousand views. Uh, I think I talked about this in my last video. So this one here, stupid video, took me five seconds to make by myself. I used this audio, which I did the research. And so someone put a microphone up to this cat. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'm number two. Look at this. I'm number two. 5,000 likes. Boom. And I could look at my analytics. Let's see. Analytics. Let's see how many followers I've gotten from this. I don't know. I think that's shares. Uh, can I look at exact followers or no? So, I mean, this gives me a little bit better look, but, uh, yeah, I can't, see, I thought you could see the amount of followers you actually got. So, 
this video was made if you look at you can actually look at the dates you can look at the dates so next to animals doing things 11 11 so I made that a few days back here let's see four days ago so I mean that was pretty early in December it's December 11th today um, but it didn't really have many other people using the sound. Like, I looked at it. Yeah, I don't even think a lot of people are using this. I can't even scroll. Look at this. Like, so, the thing, too, is uh, if uh, a sound is getting oversaturated, I think it can be kind of hard. Sometimes it can blow up. But I know for a fact, I don't think there's really anyone else that's done that Fortnite sound. So, and the fact that not many people are using this sound, like, look, let's look at the third person, 51 hearts. They just did a, du a you know, a duet. Um. Okay. <laughs> I like watching these when people use the sounds or get ideas. I like, I don't want to take credit for it, but it's like, I give people, like, I probably give others inspiration and they're probably like, what they see is like, oh, okay. I see an opportunity to capitalize. If this person uses sound, I can just simply upload this, you know, couple second video. I mean, he got 34 hearts. Let's look at his profile. Oh, 2,000 followers. Like, I mean, look at this guy. And I think, was he recording from a phone? He's not. But, I mean, oh, wait. That got 400 views. Look at that. Look at that. So, <laughs> I mean, you can easily get a thousand. But the point of me going on, I'm way sidetracking. I went live after this video for, I think, three hours. And then when I got off the video, or TikTok live, I saw this video had over, like, 10K views. I was like, whoa! Like, I was pretty excited, so... That just kind of tells you the power of going live. So when you by going live after you post a video, it almost forces people to go um, to your your newest video. Because lots of times when you go live, like let's say uh, I'm just looking at my profile here once I get back to the homepage. So there will be like a little live symbol around here. I'll pull out the mouse little circle right here i need to use this more um and it'll say live like in the bottom right hand corner so like if let's say this video pops up right and someone's it's on someone's for you page or someone that follows me they're gonna see a live icon or a little button just like the you know where i showed you on the home page and they're gonna see that and more times than not i mean for my experience I, I'll click it, you know, and honestly, I'm just curious to see what people are doing now. I don't necessarily like what I'm doing, but I've been going live and I'll just literally have my phone po pointed at my computer screen or like on the side and it'll just be me playing Fortnite. The quality is terrible. It's nothing like a Twitch stream, Mixer, Facebook. It's nothing. It's not good quality, but I don't know if it's because my demographic or what, because I know it's like, you know, probably younger kids to teens. So that's sick, by the way. Anyways, they'll come and watch. Like this morning, I live streamed and I posted this video here. There. I just said, ready for Star Wars. Because I didn't really have time to uh, make a video. Here, I'll just play the rest of it. So I all I did was I used a trending song, which if you go click on the song, which I did, um, 2.7 million views. Now I'm sure there's probably different, like probably several different uploads, but I noticed that this had a few million views. So I was like, all right, it's it's popular, but this is not a good video. Like it's not. I mean, it's informative. Like, oh hey, Star Wars event. If someone's not in the know and uh i mean i have 500 views on it 117 hearts and i just put ready for star wars 
and then uh, put you know on a scale of one to ten. And I've gotten a few comments. I did it more as an engagement video, and uh, it's got 500 views. It's a nothing burger. I have posted videos, or I've seen people post videos for like 30 minutes on YouTube, and not even get a fraction of those views. Um, but that was because I went live. Now, I have a decent sized following. I mean, we're about at 50K. Uh, so part of that's probably from that. But this was probably at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning when I posted this. So going live is going to be very uh, beneficial for you to, to boost those views. So I would say that covers pretty much all the tips. I have a tendency to ramble on in these videos a little bit and I, I hope uh, that those of you that stayed are getting some good information. All I'm trying to do is give you the amount, the most amount of information I have on what I've experienced with the app and just how I've gotten to where I've gotten in, you know, a fairly little amount of time, which I think is pretty decent. But I really want to grow more and I'm going to keep trying to grind and I'm going to give you guys all the information I can. We're going to start this series with TikTok. You know, we're going to we're just going to pile on a bunch of these TikTok growth videos. So if you guys have any specifics on uh, a video idea, let me know or just any other specifics on the app or just strategy, etc. So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. Like the video, comment below, and also check me, my Instagram, my TikTok out, especially at Mr. Kessler. Um, but anyways, thanks for stopping, guys. Stopping by, guys. I can't talk, and we'll catch you later.